Hi, Dan at Surplus Store here. Sorry it's been so long, we've been getting our breath back after getting shot up in the last video and I've been off in America being chased by bears. Today we've got something that was supposed to be here in June last year and then got pushed back to December and then to March and well, here we are in April with the Sig Sauer, MCX and MPX in 177 and in black only. The Tannen 2.2 version should be available soon, but going with previous experience, we're not even going to guess at a date. The rifles have a mostly metal construction, with the only plastic on here being the polymer rail front end and the stock. The metal body is a good replica of the real steel, but most of the features on the receiver are moulded on. The only functional parts on the body are the selector switch, which moves with a nice positive click, the right-handed mag release, and the charging handle. The ejection port cover and the dexterous mag release forward assist on this model and the bolt release catch are all lock solid and non-functional. The MCX's status is firing up to 750 FPS and the MPX up to 600. Now you'll only score these numbers with a super lightweight pellet. Using an Air Arms Diablo field pellet which weighs in at 8.4 grains you get an actual 410 to 440 out of the MPX and a 510 to 520 out of the MCX. SIG recommend you should swap out your CO2 after 210 shots which should give you 7 magazines worth of usable shots and the internal mechanisms have been life tested up to 15,000 shots. They use a new patented belt drive magazine system, the first encapsulated belt fed pellet magazine capable of 30 shots in 3.5 seconds. When loading your pellets, do make sure they are seated centrally within the pellet belt using the pellet prod to pride. Adjustable flip up front and rear sights. This is double action, not the semi-auto or self-loading. The blowback cocks the hammer, but the trigger action advances the magazine. There is a big warning about serious damage that can be caused by feeding the pellet in the wrong way, but I've had one of these apart and I can't see why. They fire very nicely with a little bit of kick. The trigger can be a little heavy as it does also load the next pellet into line, but are not enough to throw off your aim. The trigger does have a good crisp finish. These are in stock today, as we are making this video, but probably won't be around for long. Come check them out at www.surplusstore.co.uk. Thanks for watching and see you next time.